Welcome to Mr. McChristie's tour. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to McChristie Tours. Ooh. I'm sure you've heard a lot about this building from the internet, newspapers, yeah. Yeah. magazines. Yeah. All of them. None of them compare with actually being in the building itself. Oh, no. It's spooky. Now, we start the tour in this room. Yeah. And just by your feet, madam, mm. Ooh, yeah. is where a body was found. The body of the McChristie's financial advisor, Mr. Crime. Oh, oh yeah, that's this. right. Yeah. Something of a mystery goes along with the discovery. Mm. He was found with ligature marks on his neck and nothing else to suggest what happened that made him meet his end so suddenly. Although there were talks of arguments, disagreements, and a lot of money went missing from the McChristy funds. It's money every time. Yeah. Do you think he was fiddling? I couldn't possibly say. How could I know? Where there's money, there's always a motive. Yeah. However, there was an interesting case that you may have heard about. Young Kathy Moss went missing not long before. All that was left of her was some bloody footprints in her bedroom. God. Uh, and there is a rumour to suggest that Mr. Cryman may have been involved, although this was never proven. What with the girl's death, you mean? Possibly. How old was she? Revenge. She was six years old. Oh, and I'm six. going back ten years now, but... Ten years? To some, it's not that long ago. Yeah. So did they ever find her? No. She remains missing and a mystery. This building is large enough to house many mysteries. Yeah. Maybe, maybe a secret compartment or, you know, something like a priest hole somewhere where she could have hid. It's funny you should say that because that will be touched upon later in the tour. Oh, lovely. Oh, oh that's interesting. I'm going to be touched upon. Yeah, but for I'll now, let's move to the next room, shall we? And welcome to the second room of the tour. In this room, she was only 34. Oh, so close. Dead's God. dead. God, that makes a mess, doesn't it, all that blood? Ooh, what? There was quite a lot of blood. Yeah. The more squeamish amongst us may have had a problem with that. Certainly, the investigators who arrived to look into the matter said they'd never seen anything quite so gruesome in all of their careers. What, was she cut from ear to ear? Yes. Or was her head nearly severed? She'd looked better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are we missing a person? Uh, I must ask that everybody stays together. Oh we're yeah, we're missing someone. Yeah, the, um, the guy looks like he's walked up the Adams family set. Where's he gone? Yeah. He's not a We need to keep together. Yeah, stick together. Especially with the low light. Yeah. Fast as missing. I apologise for that, but the building is so old, the wiring isn't at its best. Mm. And so we do have periods of darkness like this. Ah, oh, but it does give it atmosphere. So the police never yes. found out who made it the mother? No, I'm afraid not. It's kind of, kind of cold in here, you think? It is, yeah. So that's the daughter and the mother? Well, the heating is on. But yes, you're right. We can get a little chill. And chill in. Are there any 
further questions before we move? Well, if they never got who did it, I don't, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, it's weird, isn't it? Big old house like this and maybe rooms that you can hide in. Lots of people. You never know. To come up with the answers. But they're just not clever enough, I suppose. Well, I don't, has anybody ever looked for secret compartments and passageways in this house? The house has been thoroughly investigated by professionals, mm. and yet it is uh, a mystery. Oh God! Oh, they're the Keystone Cops. Mm. <laughs> Did you ever find Mr. McChristie? Shall we move on to the next room? Ooh. Ooh. Now, in this room, we have a very sad tale. Uh, we're missing the lady as well now. Holy crap! That's two down. I did ask people to stay together. This guy well, can I've count. I've stayed as close as I can. Yeah, I ain't going nowhere. I'm staying right. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Sorry, I've just been the loo. I didn't tell you where that was. No, it's uh, women's intuition, I suppose. In this room, there was a tragic death of a young boy. Oh. He was Christie's five-year-old son. Oh no, that's the daughter and the son. I'll say. And the building just seemed to grow in its reputation for strangeness. They're all dropping like flies. <gasps> hmm. Well, who's done it? The young boy was found with strangulation marks, but no one was found to stand and try for the murder. This one or any other. So that's two murders, nobody swings yet. Yeah. That's some cold shit. I think we should move on. To the next room. Don't go too far from me. No, stick by me. Yeah, stick together. Ooh. I feel it's really cold in this room. I mean, really cold, don't I'll you? I'll say, because we're missing another body. Are we? Or oh, the fellow in the house? The cowboy from yeah. you, from the oh, whatever. I think US. I think I'm going to go nip the low as well. As I... No, well, don't look. Okay. Oh, stay here by me. There's only two of us left. Are we uh, going to continue with this talk? Oh yeah, I want to know what happened in here. I think perhaps we should wait for the others. It's... Oh no, let's carry on. It's not our fault to know here. As you wish. It's right, it's their fault. This room was the scene of the largest set of murders. <gasps> oh yeah. Oh yeah, she's Sorry. frightened the life don't out of me. Don't do that to me, I'm an Sneaking old man. Sneaking up like that. The largest set of murders in the house's history was in this very room. Oh. No. Five. Five. <gasps> Five murders. But this time, there was some difference in the way that they were murdered. Yeah. Yeah. Some were. Close. Some were. It's all an act like job. Like the sun. <laughs> some were. Oh. Oh. Hung, strangled. And some were shot. Oh my goodness me, that's new. There's no <coughs> denying the originality of it, but it had the same effect. They all died. They all died, yeah. my goodness me. They did indeed. Oh, it's gruesome now. Oh, Five don't tell people. me there's more. Who were they? They were friends and family who had <gasps> gathered for something of a memorial, if you like, in their oh. words. For the, uh, some would say they were just, some would say they were just hangers on, out to see what they could get. So would you say that Mr. McChristie's family has been entirely wiped out? There are no known descendants or survivors. Oh, God. <gasps> The whole family wiped out. Well, who gets all the money? Oh, the accountant took all the money, didn't he? 
Well, oh, so they think. So they think that. Unfortunately, so. Yeah, the accountant's got it. Yeah. He's the one that's done it. But he did find his own justice at the end. Of course. Well, he was murdered. He, he was murdered, him. wasn't he? Mm. Oh, I'm confused. What was the sequence of the deaths? I'm confused. With the yeah, with the five Because the daughter went missing, then the accountant. Yeah. Then, then the, the wife. Yeah. yeah, the mother. Yeah, then the, the other boy, then these five murders. Goodness so in me. what in what chronological order? Yeah, there's just as you've said. Yeah. Oh, was it like that, the five first? Well, they were all gruesome as they were, incidental to the fact of the <laughs> missing young girl in the first place, uh, young Cathy, yeah. who was absolutely worshipped by her father. Mm. It's a shame. Oh God. And he never found Mr. McChristie? Oh God, wonder what happened to him. Another mystery. He could still be alive, couldn't he? Stranger things have happened, I suppose. Well, it's really cold in this room. Let's oh, move on. I'll move on. Can we move on? Well, let's yeah. move to the next one. Oh, yeah. yeah. We come to the, the penultimate. Hang on a minute. That fellow's gone. Every time we move rooms, somebody goes missing. Haven't you noticed? Mm-hmm. Well, I did ask everybody to stay together. Oh my God! I don't can't like wait this. For them. The tour's almost over. Oh my God! I don't like this. Are you scared? Yeah. Oh my God! So scary. So what happened in here? The faithful housemaid. Yeah. Who stayed, in spite of everything that was going on around her. <gasps> Stayed a little too long, unfortunately. Oh, God. And was found hanging just over there. From the banister? From the banister. Oh, God. And nobody ever knew who could have done it because the house was empty, other than her. Well, maybe she took her own life. Who knows? She's not here to ask, is she? I mean, hanging, it doesn't always need somebody to do it to you. You can hang yourself, can't you? Maybe she, she committed to it, or something drove her to it. Maybe well, the house drove her to it, oh my God. It was decided that, for the purpose of the autopsy, that yes, it was suicide. Who knows what was going through the poor girl's mind? Well, this house would spook anyone else, and we're in. Well, we started in a group, but to be here on your own, well, I wouldn't like it one bit. I'm sure they'll be along shortly. Yeah. They're probably at the gift shop or something. Oh, God. Well, that Yank wanted to see all the scary places, and he's not here. It's really weird, this. I don't like it. There's only one more room. Perhaps we could better crack on, eh? Yeah. We'll just wait for the others to come along. I don't think they'll be coming back anytime soon. Why would you say that? Just a feeling. A feeling? Are you feeling all right? I'm feeling fantastic. Is there something you're not telling me? <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> There's been many clues. What clues? I'm surprised it hasn't added up yet in your head. I don't follow you. Has what clicked? <laughs> Something's going on here and I'm not part of it. What are you? <laughs> I'm Kathy Marks. What? <laughs> yes. But she disappeared ten years ago. My daddy set it all up before I made my big escape. Where have you been for the past ten years? Hiding with his money that he left me. The accountant got nothing. It was all mine. Mine. But where have you been and why have you come back now? Because I'm finishing off what my daddy started. What? So... You're here to do 
I don't. What are you saying? Are you saying that you're. I'm you living his legacy on, and I'm finishing the job that nobody else could. This is crazy. <laughs> are, you, are you saying that you're here because you haven't finished what's happening? Correct. <laughs> Say hello to daddy for me. <laughs> <laughs>